Um, now, you play for RZ in the Eredivisie for five years. Yeah. Um, you were brought to the Netherlands when Louis van Gaal was manager of RZ back in 2009. Um, what kind of character was he like to work under? In Holland, he was really good. Uh, he obviously had the respect of all the players. Uh, he demanded a lot from the players as well, obviously. Uh, he's a demanding character uh, and knows exactly what he wants. Mm. Uh, so it was it was nice to it was only my first half year I think he was there uh, so it was no nice, nice to like train sometimes under him and and uh, see what he was about and uh, just see how much he demanded of the players yeah well, as well as Van Gaal you worked under other Dutch managers such as Ronald Koeman, Kurt Jan Verbeek, and Dick Avakart. Yeah. Um, what was the best piece of advice you received when you played in the Netherlands? Koeman gave me a good advice about uh, just like when I got the ball, just have the freedom of doing uh, what you do. Uh, mm. Don't be thinking too much about uh, other things. Just try and attack the fullback. Mm. Uh, as a winger, that was a, that was a really good advice. Who do you think was the toughest fullback you ever faced up against? I would have to say probably Danny Rose. Ah, interesting. Yeah, uh, he's just strong, quick. Yeah up and down the whole game, uh, yeah. so uh, really tough to play against him. You actually started your career with Bode for Blick. Yeah. Hope so that right. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> quite good. Uh, in Iceland, before you joined Chelsea's youth team, so however, you left England to go back to Iceland um, yeah. when you were 18. Uh, at the time, did you feel like your professional dream might have been over? No, not really, no. Uh, and to be fair, I wasn't really thinking about it. I just came back off an injury. I did my ACL um, mm. when I was in England. So uh, I think I was yeah I was 17 when I went back home, uh, and I wasn't really thinking about it. I was just just wanted to play football. So I went back uh, to Iceland, started with yeah the under 21 team there, played a few games there, and then I was I was selected for the first team uh, mm. and played one season there before I was uh, before I was brought to uh, AC Dalkma mm. uh, and played my first A international game when I was 17. So it was, it was a quick turnaround, definitely. Um, of course, your career was, it was never over and you ended up at RZ. Typical Dutch side, great football. Um, could you tell me about your favourite memory from your time in the Netherlands? Favourite memory, winning the cup. Mm. Yeah, we won the cup, uh, obviously, against uh, PSV Endeffen. Everybody expected them to, to, to uh, beat us, uh, and, uh, but we played a great game. Uh, I think uh, Adam Maher and uh, Josie Altidore scored yeah. the two goals. Uh, so, yeah, that was definitely my favourite memory. Yeah, nice one. Um, nowadays, you're a player for uh, Burnley in the Premier League. What different challenges does Burnley's style of football present you as a winger, as opposed to what you're used to with RZ? I mean, there's, there's a lot more defensive work uh, with Iceland as well. Uh, Burnley and Iceland play similar style to be fair. Yeah. So it's it's definitely more defensive work that I have to had to add to my game since I've come over to England, and uh, obviously the speed of the league. Uh, so it is it's a pretty yeah pretty difficult league, uh, but uh, yeah the Dutch D- D- is, is is a good league as well to be fair, uh, uh, and was at my time. But uh, yeah, English Premier League is is probably the toughest in the world. Your manager here is Sean Deitch. Um Could you let us into his secrets, please? Because he doesn't spend a lot of money in big transfers, and yet you've developed several international players, and you're seventh in the Premier League. How? Uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, the togetherness of the group, uh, and he demands as well a lot from the players. Uh, everybody know, knows their role in the team. Uh, he expects everybody to know know the role role in the team and even if you come on as a sub you, you have to know what you have to do so um, training sessions really good uh, a lot of football uh, a lot of fitness as well so we are we are a really fit group uh, so I mean there's there's just a lot of things uh, that are working at the moment for Burnley and uh, yeah credit to the manager that he's, he's doing a good job yeah how has he got the best out of you personally uh, it just made me believe in myself more. Uh, obviously, coming to the Premier League, getting a yeah, adjusted to the Premier League is is difficult. And uh, yeah, we, we had a few meetings uh, about uh, how I play and yeah. uh, what he wanted from me. And uh, the main thing is that he just made me believe uh, even more that I could play at this level. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bernie players and staff, including yourself, 
I think are quite modest and professional when you're speaking about your, your fantastic season, but you're currently in Europa League place, you know? So isn't that now a realistic target, considering your favourites for seventh place? Yeah, it is, and I think majority of the season we've been in seventh place. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we want to we wanna stay there, but we know uh, we went on a run, we didn't win in 11 games. Uh, it's a tough league. Uh, but uh, at the moment we're in a really good form and uh, yeah we just take each game as it comes uh, as long as we're picking up three points or, or getting good results every week uh, we will definitely be in contention for the seventh place yeah um you must have some fine memories from euro 2016 the first major tournament for iceland can you talk me through how you felt leading up to the england game and how you felt after you beat the english to reach the quarterfinals yeah, it was. I mean, one of the best moments of my footballing career. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Premier League back in Iceland is by far the biggest league. Uh, everybody watches this. Watches uh, the Premier League. Probably everybody supports England in the major tournaments. Yeah. And uh, when Iceland wasn't there, so it was it was it was a big deal to play against England. It was obviously a, a great yeah situation for the fans and and for us the players. And then obviously beating them is is something special and. Yeah, something uh, that is in Icelandic football history. Mm. Uh, reaching the uh, quarterfinals of the major tournament is, is massive. And, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just a, a great summer. Nice. So the World Cup this summer, you've got Argentina, Croatia and Nigeria in your group. Um, is there now pressure for the Icelandic players to achieve after the last tournament? I would say most pressure is uh, within the group. I think uh, we always put a lot of pressure on ourselves uh, winning games it uh, doesn't matter what the opposition is we want to go into every game and win it uh, but we know we're in a really tough group uh, I mean we played Croatia uh, luckily enough we beat them last time we played them so yeah. we know how to beat them Argentina obviously world-class players in every position and then uh, I think Nigeria are really tough from the from the pot four probably the toughest team in there mm. and we know when we play our football uh, it's tough to play against mm. Where have you enjoyed living the most in your career so far? Iceland, Alkmaar in the Netherlands, London, or here in Burnley? Uh, I really liked Alkmaar. I think all really good places. Obviously, Alkmaar is close to Amsterdam, uh, so that was uh, that was good. London is is London. I mean, yeah. it's a brilliant city. Uh, it was a bit bu it was a bit busy. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I live now in uh, in Manchester, uh, mm. so uh, it's a great city as well. So if I would have to pick one, I would probably pick. Probably pick Manchester. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. I mean, it's it's kind of in between. Uh, Alkmaar, Alkmaar is a bit quiet, uh, and London is a bit too busy. So yeah, it's a bit too big. Yeah, it's in between. Yeah, nice. Um, and finally, Johan, you, what are your ambitions for the rest of your career? Uh, become uh, established Premier League player. Uh, that's obviously the aim. I mean, uh, this is my second season now, and I want to play. I want to play as many as I can in the Premier League. Uh, yeah. For me, it's the best league in the world and most exciting, so you want to be part of that. Yeah. Um, how about being the most capped player for Iceland? You currently have 65 caps, so 27. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's, it's a great achievement, but uh, I think Aaron Gunnarsson, the captain, is, is probably going to surpass me there. He's only yeah. one year older than me, Yeah. and yeah, he's got 70 something caps, so it's going to be tough to. To catch him, but uh, if I get past 100, uh, mm. I'll be extremely happy. Yeah, a legend nonetheless. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you very much.